Hi babes, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. We are in for a treat today. Haley found a new aesthetic. Well, it's not new. Everybody's been loving this right now. And oh my gosh, this is a time to do it. I am talking everything to do with quiet luxury, old money. This aesthetic is basically described as people who are wearing clothes that are apparently so ridiculously expensive, but they're not in your face at all. They are a modest and quiet, humble version of showing your wealth. Because the whole concept is that the regular person can look at these outfits and just, they look like regular outfits. It's very nice, good, high quality basics. Lots of neutral colored, tailored items that just fit your body perfectly, but no logos, nothing in your face, nothing that portrays any kind of a materialistic wealth. And I am hardcore really loving this because on one hand, outfits like these are just so classy to wear for every day. So that's why I thought it would be so fun to take this on and pretty much show you guys how you can create these elevated, gorgeous outfits using stuff that you're gonna be finding at the thrift store. But what I love about them too is that they're also modest physically. A lot of these outfits don't show a lot of skin they have a really good amount of coverage but they still look so classy and elegant and especially if you are someone who is loving this neutral kind of color palette this is the video for you so i'm going to take you guys into the thrift store today we're basically going to be thrifting outfits that look like they can cost thousands on thousands of dollars but really we'll probably just get them for 10 bucks i also want to thank shopify for sponsoring today's video and i am so excited to head into this guys so without further ado come thrift with me for quiet luxury old money aesthetic outfits <laughs> Alright guys, so I don't pull out my advice and my tips out of thin air. Pinterest is obviously my place to go whenever I'm looking for certain aesthetics. I wanted to make sure that you guys give in your two cents and I asked you, when you think old money, quiet, luxury aesthetic, what comes to mind? The amount of suggestions that you guys all told me, cardigans and crewnecks, Ralph Lauren, silk and satin, vests, tennis skirts, trousers, knit sweaters, headbands, button down shirts, gold jewelry, no logos. Like you gave me brands, you gave me styles and I'm so excited to look for exactly what you suggested. Because again, the reason as to why I do all these themed thrift videos is because the thrift store is really a vast place for creativity. You can come in not knowing what you're looking for, but if you come in with an idea of the kind of style of something you want, you could really manifest it and find exactly what you're looking for. Starting out here in the top, we are going to be looking for the colored button down shirts. If you want to pull off this aesthetic, you want to stick to this color palette. I'm talking white, beige and neutral, and then obviously like a nice pale blue. Stick to either a solid color or if you really want to add some texture, look for some stripes. You know what it is about these shirts? They just give off that boating aesthetic. Like I'm about to go hit up my yacht, meet me at the pier. So I see a couple button downs here. Let's start our search. Pearl button down details and embellishments. Also, such a nice classy little touch. Okay, this sweater right here is gorgeous. The brand is Charters Club. Like, is it just me or does that sound really expensive? It's also 100% cashmere. Two fabrics you want to stick with linen and cashmere. Pieces in these fabrics tend to be a bit more expensive, but they also sit on you so beautifully and they're so comfortable too. This color, the sweater, it's gorgeous. So I will say you guys, there is actually many things within this aesthetic that are so out of my comfort zone to thrift. A lot of them being the tailored stuff. A lot of you said tailored pants and tailored tops. And I'm just like so a comfort person and something about tailored clothing sometimes makes me feel like it's stiff and it's not comfortable. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to find something that would be comfortable, but at the same time can still give off that tailored look. I notice with the quiet luxury aesthetic, other than fabric, something you wanna notice is just embellishments. So like the type of buttons, for example, like these look like nice expensive buttons. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely a more old school tag too. I feel like the ones that are more vintage looking are definitely great. Unlike buttons like these sometimes feel a little bit more cheap, like especially the terry cloth material. Even though honestly, this could still be a cute knit. Not gonna lie. Okay, I found another Charters Club piece. I honestly don't know what this brand is, but they have such stunning pieces. Look at this gorgeous linen tie up top. So beautiful. I also was able to find a couple linen shirts. I have so many already, so I'm going to leave it behind. Okay, this piece right here, definitely too big, but I had to show you how stunning these buttons are. And I absolutely love all the striping down to the ruched sleeves. It is a size 14, so it will be too big on me, but so gorgeous. And then everything varsity, like I said, preppy varsity is obviously part of this aesthetic as well. I really love the sweater and I really like that it has a little black detailing. Kind of wish it didn't have the stripes on one sleeve and it is a 2XL, but I do want to try it. Maybe I like the way it fits. All right, and now we're going to play a little game. The game is, 
skim for pattern. A really popular pattern within this aesthetic is obviously striped, like I said. Specifically the black and white striped sweaters. I feel like a lot of these photos are wearing it either just over the shoulders or tied at the front or even as an actual cardigan. And we just gotta spot the pattern. Without having to look through it all, let's just aim to find some of those striped pieces. This one from Chaps is pretty perfect, but I also want to find the reverse. White with black stripes. Another thing within this aesthetic that is a bit out of my comfort zone, black. A lot of the photos of these really classy outfits, black is actually a color or a shade, whatever you say. That's something a lot of people wear. And I actually think that the vibe for a lot of these clothes are very 90s inspired. So I found this piece right here. I really love the white trim and the fact that it's kind of a rounded boat neckline. Have no idea how it will fit me and I usually never go for black. But what can I say, you guys? We are trying new things out here. In the short sleeve top section right now, specifically in the beige, I found this top that I think is really perfect for this aesthetic because of the high neckline and also the texture of the top. Definitely looks like something really expensive, but got some makeup stains right here too. So gonna pass it up. I mean, somehow these girls are still pulling off vests, even though a lot of people say it's kind of out of trend. I think if you pair it the right way and you get neutrals like this that are more simple and toed down, they always work. Um, hold the phone. I was looking at this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this would look like such a nice little tank top piece. Um, what? Stop. That's amazing. That is without a doubt a legit Christian Dior tag. I didn't even care. Like I like the shirt in general, like with the little lace. The reason I was here was to tell you that satins and slips obviously give off that luxury aesthetic. Let's look for some jeans. If you find the classics like Levi's and Lee, as long as, like I said, they are a solid color with no distressing, that's a really good call. It's like so overwhelming. I haven't looked for denim in so long, but let me show you which ones I find. I found these brand new Levi's on the floor. They do have some subtle rips on them, so maybe not for this aesthetic, but I gotta try these. <laughs> know what it is but it's actually really hard to find jeans that are not distressed these days let me gather some and then i'll show you first of all i found these levi's these are the low pro straight they are also a solid blue straight leg no distressing so that's perfect and then the other one i found is more of this like deeper blue slightly baggier but i still think definitely high rise i'm noticing a lot of the ones in these photos are a high rise fit over low and dark denim super popular too now moving on to colored denim and everything tailored pants these definitely look like they are good for the trend because they are solid, they are white, they are high rise, but it's a stiff denim and I just, I don't want to wear a stiff denim. So I'm leaving them. All right, black pants. Here we go. As much as I don't love black pants, they are a classy staple in this trend that I will try. First of all, I found like a black linen pants version, which I actually don't have and I think I would wear a lot. And then when it comes to tailored pants, it's really just trial and error. What you want to look for, if you really want to get that Aritzia effortless look pants, obviously a very long fly area. You want to make sure that it's a wider leg at the bottom and look for pleats inside the pants also. That's what give it that expensive tailored look. I was actually able to find so many beautiful white tailored pants because I really want to recreate this outfit. Unfortunately though, none of them are in my size. Like this is a size 14. Ooh, okay, hold on. These ones right here look like they may have a potential. I love the way that they, f oh, I guess that means they're meant to be mine. <gasps> they're also brand new with tags, which is great. Let's try those. And then with shorts, it's basically the same thing. Ooh, these are really cool. I really love this belt buckle detail. And then these are such a good pair of basics also. White linen shorts in general very easy to find and then when it comes to regular shorts you can obviously still thrift them but again try to steer clear of the denim that has a lot of a washed and fading stick with more one color solid pieces like these maybe not rolled up yeah wow that looks like a perfect pair of jeans to recreate this look and definitely opt for the longer ones. These $2 Lee black shorts are epic. I feel like they may be a bit big though, but it's worth trying for two bucks. All right, y'all, skirts are hard. I feel like within this aesthetic, there aren't a lot of skirts that are like obvious, except for the pleated skirts, which I have to say, I'm still kind of into them, but most of them are just really, really short. But otherwise, I'm definitely seeing midi and maxi skirts being a trend as well. This is one of those things that I really just gotta look and see if it vibes. Even though technically I've been seeing skirts like this in the quiet luxury trend because I love the buttons, this is like one 
one of those things that's like an obvious Chanel piece. So it's less of the quiet luxury. I mean, we did it, you guys. We found a pleated skirt, like you said, to find. But I want to be true to me. I don't really see myself wearing them as much. Instead, I would opt for one like this that gives off a very similar vibe, but it's a little bit more of like a linen-y vibe, which I like more. Oh my God. Even though I have to say this is so sick i literally found an old school vintage nike tennis skirt it is like super mini and something we definitely cannot forget about you guys is blazers the amount of blazers and suit jackets and suit sets that i'm seeing like right here you guys is an example of a blazer that is honestly so old money like it screams it but we are molding the aesthetic to us not molding ourselves to the aesthetic remember that time to try it all on and i'm really sorry that i never really wear anything exciting to the thrift store but because there's no change rooms i have no choice but to wear these onesies this skirt i absolutely love but it's definitely way too big but it flows so nicely guys i am so bummed about these shorts they are the perfect length the perfect wash but too big just found my most perfect shorts Even though these shirts are so niche, like I just, it does not feel like me at all. Okay, well, I don't love the stripes on one side. Totally kills it. Plus, definitely would have loved it if it was one or two sizes smaller without this. Again, just such a cool piece if it was smaller. <laughs> like the tie needs to be higher up and it just needs to be more fitted in general. I'm so excited to finally move on to accessories. For accessories, think bags, think belts, think hats. Another accessory that I'm obviously seeing a lot is hats, but you wanna be sure to stick with like really, really neutral one. Like this one that just says Newport Beach on it. Super cute, I love the color blocking and the nude. And I found a perfect belt to show you. The outfits really come together when you pair it with these really deep, luxurious belts, specifically in brown, I'm noticing. If you could find it with a gold buckle, even better. This one is really gorgeous. And then this one is similar and really cool as well. Kind of gives off the same vibe but with a dark buckle and then when it comes to purses same idea you want to keep them super simple nothing flashy nothing with logos i mean really the most classy bags i would say are ones that are so simple just like this or even like this brown one too so classy but then on the other hand i also notice a lot of the outfits incorporate like a fun clean simple but colorful bag to kind of like break up the entire neutral look looks really good too and then when it comes to heels opt for things with like very very thin straps and a smaller heel i feel like those definitely look more elegant and expensive than the super big pumps which are not quite luxury at all loafers are obviously huge too mary janes even flats like very simple flats like this make outfits look so expensive pearl details are definitely huge a nice bold gold bangle and then guys this has been on my thrift list forever and it's basically these like really dainty little gold watches so nice all right well genuinely you guys what a freaking amazing thrift trip that was i can't believe it just how much stuff we got everything here came out to just 98 bucks we got clothes we got accessories we got jewelry we got the whole shebang so taking everything here i'm gonna do my best to put together some outfits for you that are very inspired by these mood boards and i guess together we'll answer the question can i put together myself outfits that look like they cost so much money when really i just shopped it at the thrift store let's find out first thing i wanted to show you is all the jewelry i got because this is stuff that i'm going to be styling with the outfit all right for four $4.99 I got this really thick bangle. It's like a chunky little bracelet. It just looks really expensive and luxurious. I got this thin little bangle that I think is just so stunning. The dainty gold jewelry, I'm telling you guys, it just underrated. It looks so luxurious. And I got this because I really wanted to create a stack like this that I've been seeing a ton. I found this vintage watch. How gorgeous. It was like three bucks too. I'm gonna style it paired like this. And then for jewelry, we're gonna stick to dainty with all of these looks. I'm gonna keep in all my little hoops. And then I just stacked three of these necklaces two of them are from Missouri and one of them the heart necklace right here if you guys don't already know it's from my brand halo collections Erin and I came out with this brand a couple months ago of a bunch of dainty jewelry that you can go ahead and wear your story this is basically what our branding looks like and guys our website is so stunning we actually built our website and built our whole store in general with Shopify from structuring designing building our website to going live to sending out emails to following through with someone actually making a purchase and transactions even to the point of like creating a shipping label all of that is done on the Shopify commerce platform. It is the simple
simplest and best platform if you're looking to sell online, sell in person, or even sell through social media, which I mean, it's what we've been doing with Halo Collections. I promote Halo a lot through my YouTube channels and through my Instagram. All of those platforms connect to Shopify and it allows people to make the purchases so much easier. It's the coolest thing because I'm using Shopify, I'm literally able to see when someone comes to my website, where they came from, how long are they staying on the page? Did they add anything to cart? If they put something in their cart, but didn't follow through with buying, like I'm able to get all of that information, which is so useful as a business owner. And through the ease of being able to use Shopify, we were able to help our business grow and thrive. So if you're looking to build or enhance your business or online business, be sure to go ahead and click the link down below or just go to shopify.com slash Haley's Corner to start your free trial. Starting a business has been one of the most rewarding things we've ever done. And an amazing platform like Shopify really made that dream possible. So with all that, I'm also gonna be sure to leave Halo Collections linked down below for you guys as well. So you guys can check out my business and you'll see how I styled this little heart pendant with all of my outfits. All right, starting off these looks casual and I am in love with this outfit, you guys. I will have to say, I would have definitely paired these with my white Reebok because they don't have such a prominent logo on the side, but I can't for the life of me find them. Like I have no idea where they are, but just like any basic white sneaker would look really good with this. I didn't wash anything yet because I wanted you guys to know the prices of the things I got it. Mousseline fabric short, got them for $5.99 and I imagined it just like this with a linen shirt that is really oversized. It gives off like such a laid back look. And then for the linen top, got it for $9.99. This is probably like one of the only colors that you really see within this aesthetic. Paired it with my straw bag. Let me also just say, I am thriving in this outfit. You guys know how much I love linens right now. And even as like a mom fit, like this is actually something that I would wear right now. Guys, wearing black is just so out of my comfort zone. Like this is just so not me, but I needed to show you what I put together because I really love these pieces. I just don't love them together. I just really wanted to take inspiration from an all black outfit like this. But I will say these pants, hello, this is probably like the best fitting pair of tailored pants I've ever got. They fit high rise, so nice on the waist. They also flare down at the leg, which is incredible. Or another option could be to just pair it with a pearl bag. Because like we said, pearls are one of those details that you see a ton on quiet luxury. Because as much as they are expensive, they're not loud the way that diamonds are. They're more of like a modest luxury accessory. So I have this thrifted pearl bag that I've had for years and I absolutely love it. There we go. So much better. The white button down pants combo is so much more me. I just love like looser fitting stuff, especially because these pants are a more tighter fitted at the bottom. I love pairing it with a baggy shirt that I just tuck in at the front. As you guys can tell, I'm not wearing shoes with a lot of these. Everything I own is pretty much sneakers. Sneakers don't always work out with outfits like this. So I really need to get myself like either a pair of loafers or just some like classier shoes in general. But guys, just details wise also, like look how nice the jewelry looks. Like accessorizing just makes this so much better with a pearl bag too. Do you guys agree? Is this more me? Do you like this one more? <laughs> white button up shirts, they just, they never fail you. Okay, decided to keep on the white short for this next one because I want to recreate this photo and hello, literally we did it, like down to the hair. <laughs> These were the shorts that I picked up for $5.99 and like I said, the fact that they are longer and they're cleaner in the sense that they're not distressed, they're a nice light wash, they automatically just make this look like a more expensive outfit. Again, ideally I would wear these with my all white sneakers, if only I can find them, but I paired it with a brown bag because I really love the color of the denim with this brown. And I mean, if I haven't convinced you already to get yourself a white linen shirt, here you go. Also guys, remember this belt that we thrifted? I have a feeling that it will look really good with this too. Cause I notice a lot of these outfits on my mood board have these belts as an accessory. Cause I don't know what, leather belts just seem to be something of the rich. Yes, I definitely, definitely, definitely like that too. And especially like the gold buckle detail on the belt. It's very, very 90s, which is why I think these trends work so well. Vintage belts, I'm telling you, this was just $5.99 and they're gonna give off that 90s look that you want. So definitely add these to your thrift list. All right, well, an all white linen look was definitely on your list, so you already know how to recreate it. And I'm just styling it with this hat that I found, probably gonna be my new favorite. I mean, I love like the messy top bun in a hat. It just gives off such sporty and rich vibes. Pairing it with some sneakers. And you guys, clearly you see that the linens and the oversized button downs is my favorite aspect of this aesthetic, which is really what I want you to take away from this. When you guys are shopping for specific aesthetic, be sure to shop for characteristics that you like. As you saw, I tried to buy things that were just on my Pinterest board, but then you have to think to yourself, is this an outfit that you would put on and like walk out the door and feel like yourself? Because if the answer is no, it's not something that you should be buying. And if you were to ask me, Haley, is this an outfit that you would put on and walk out the door with? I would say, hell yes. And then I just had to show you to really drive it home, give off that whole preppy vibe. I'm going to a country club look. We have the striped shirt layered over top. It's actually a nice little breakup because of the 
the fact that the outfit is so white and I'm hoping that I could still thrift myself one that's like mostly white with the black stripe but for just $3.99 it definitely adds a nice layer element to your look that really makes me feel very sporty and rich okay and this will be the last time that I'm showing you guys this shirt I just really wanted to style it with these black linen pants that I found they were three dollars they sit on me low-waisted but I can definitely pull them up and make them a high waist if I want but with baggier clothes like this kind of love the look that it gives it kind of feels like a PJ set and I just paired it with a neutral tote bag to break up the black and the white and can I just say I really miss the small sunglasses trend like I personally feel like these sunglasses look so much better on me than the bigger ones that are really stylish right now it just really feels like a 90s moment do you guys get what I'm saying I thought about wearing it like this but I think tucking it in is gonna be nicer yeah I really like that then with the pearl bag okay so much better than that black on black outfit we styled earlier this one I actually really like because the trousers give a more masculine vibe but the top is so feminine because of all the lace and then the tones in the pearl bag match the tones in the pants and I think overall it's just such a nice balance and a look I'm really obsessed with this not just saying because this is Christian Dior which is still so cool but this is definitely like a going out top that I would actually feel comfortable wearing because it doesn't expose skin anywhere that I'm not comfortable with and definitely having all of this jewelry is what elevates it but guys what do you think did we do a good job because I think we did I definitely discovered a lot of new things that I like and obvious things that I really don't which is really the whole point of these videos but thank you guys so much for watching comment down below which of these outfits which of these trends is your favorite or are any of them like a hard no if you are watching up to this point you're the real MVPs we love the ones who stick around all the way till the end if you're watching up to this point comment down below that's so luxe because it's definitely on brand very on theme with this video I love all of you guys who stick around and comment because at this point I'm recognizing your names I'm recognizing your profile pictures like it's really amazing to establish such a great community here and if you are new be sure to join the amazing family by subscribing down below also be sure to comment any other aesthetics that you want me to thrift for and who knows maybe my next video idea will be yours to shop my really pretty beautiful little dainty heart necklace I'm gonna leave halo collections linked down below as well as Shopify as well if you guys are building a business any business whether it's jewelry like me fashion line stationery literally anything they have the guidance they have the templates they have everything you need to write on their platform you can start a free trial on Shopify today by going to shopify.com slash Haley's Corner or I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description for you as well thank you all so much for watching I love you forever and always be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and I can't wait to see you in my next one love you guys